Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Ala, and today I'm going to present the uh, self assembly organic nanomaterials as vaccines, uh, vaccines for COVID 19 and future pandemics. So, my outline will be peptide self assembly process, synthesis of peptides, uh, SARS CoV 2 structure, antiviral peptides on SARS CoV 2, computational design. Uh, uh, of self-assembled nanomaterials in silico, and conclusion. So, peptide self-assembled process. Peptide have many promising properties, such as their biocompatibility and bioability, bio biostability, biodegradable, easy to design, non-toxic, and self-assembled. So, we have acid in nature. The, they are all different in our side chain. So these are side chain, side chain help in self assembly process for peptide stability. So here is example of peptide that show how, how it's self assembled and form like nanofiber structure. Here is also another example of peptide that contain just two phenyl only residues and self assemble uh, into different structure dependent on the environment. So for example, when we when you change like pH or temperature, it also will lead to change uh, their uh, structure. It is also one of my uh, peptide that it form different nanofiber structure and it's also form uh, hydrogel. Uh, it's also dependent on the pH when you change pH from, for example, from uh, 7.2 to uh, slightly acidic. It also, uh, their structure will also uh, change. Here is some application of peptides. So for example, VEVK9 and VEVK12, it has like uh, increased the fi uh, fibroblast migration and Q Q11 and uh, 91EAK162, it's helped in endothelial cell proliferation and RADA, 16-1 control drug release. This all a different amino acid. So for example, R, uh, arginine, A, alanine, D, aspartic acid. So it's all amino acid. It all contain natural amino acid. Okay, so how these peptides are self-assembled? So these peptides are self-assembled due to intra and intermolecular interaction between uh, different side chain uh, that, that, that help to uh, to give her a highly ordered structure. And also if you have like a uh, phenylalanine or tyrosine, it, it has like a bye-bye stacking between the different uh, aromatic ring. And uh, this all reduce away from water. So it's hydrophobic, it, it cluster together and remove away from water. Here is example of a beta, beta sheet, a parallel and anti -parallel beta sheet. So, and here is, there is a bond between oxygen that has like, hydrogen bond. Also, if you have like uh, aspartic acid, so if you have like in the in the R side chain, in the R side chain, you could name, for example, uh, uh, carboxylic acid, it also like electrostatic interaction between different uh, uh, residue. So now we're gonna talk about how these peptides are formed. So peptide can be synthesized in solution or in solid phase. So Amir Field is the first one who, who, who thinks this peptide using solid phase peptide synthesis. And this, this will, these peptides are done under completely anhydrous condition, like for example, nitrogen gas. So how, uh, so the procedure of solid phase peptide synthesis. So first we, uh, we use like a glass pistols and we add resins. There's a many, many, many types of resins, but the best one is two uh, chloro trichloride resin. So first we split the resin and we add the first amino acid. Usually amino acid uh, has protected uh, um, side chain. So we, we, add, we add amino acid uh, one, and then we add the second one. Every, every, time we, we, every time we add amino acid, we remove the protecting group by using, uh, um, Bibridine, 20% bibridine, we remove the protected group, and then we add the second amino acid. Then after we uh, obtain the desired sequence, we cleave the peptide from, from the resin using 
cleavage cocktail. And there are many types of cleavage, of, of cleavage cocktail. So to summarize, to summarize this, uh, this process, so first we use protective amino acid, then deprotecting de de process uh, by using 20% uh, bipredine, and then coupling with the second amino acid washing, and then add cleavage cocktail at the end. So now we'll talk about briefly about the structure of COVID-2. Uh, COVID-2. So the structure it contains many sites. These all decided these regions can be targeting using a specific uh, uh, peptide that targeting this complementary. So we designed the peptide that complementary to a specific region of the and then we can uh, inhibit uh, its uh, its uh, its assembly or growth of the of the virus. For example, many people use uh, like a, use uh, spike uh, S protein target these regions, and there is also many other uh, many uh, many other regions can can be targeted. So antiviral peptides on SARS-CoV-2 by using the type based vaccines. We can overcome of target effects, autoimmunity, contamination, and complexity to design them. Peptide can self-assemble into other structure. The peptide can be engineering with antigen epitopes and immunomodulated their order structure. Peptide induce immunological memory due to an enhanced adaptive uh, immune response when Tumor invite the human body. So there are two types of uh, additive immune system. Cell mediated immune response by which cytotoxic T lymphocyte kill infected cell. The second one is activated B cells that produce antibody that neutralize extracellular bacteria or cell uh, or virus. So when peptides are used as antigens, the immunity system recognizes the specific region as epitope. And, it, and, and induce hormonal immunity against it. So these, these cells bind it to this epitope and allow antibody to bind it to, uh, to it. Okay, so for example here, how uh, the mode of action of this peptide. Here is just a representative example. So viruses, for example, uh, SARS-CoV-2, in, in, uh, bind to the receptor, uh, host receptor, and affect the, 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 the person. However, if we, if, we, if, we, if we use a self-assembled peptide as vaccine, this can self-assemble and prevent uh, and block uh, SARS-CoV-2 from binding to the uh, receptor, the host receptor. Okay, here there is example already existing of uh, existing antiviral peptide. So for example, in 1LBHA, or in two and in three, all these are act specific uh, re, uh, acting region. For example, acting on the virus, viral surface or glycoprotein or hemagglutin. This all derivative from a highly conservative uh, sequence of H1 and H2 and A and HA2 subunits. Era KPAQP. It's also act on viral surface glycoprotein neuroaminidase. The specific sequence in 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 the binding bucket of uh, of Ostrela tramivira. Uh, this is a type of a drug in neuroaminidase. C01 and C02 and to the silly galactose. The source of this is a specific recognition region of HA to the uh, cilia, uh, cilia oligosaccharides of the glycoprotein on the, on, the, on the cell surface receptor. Okay, now we're gonna talk about computational design of self-assembled nanomaterials. So in silico, studying the self-assembled, Standing nanomaterials, physiochemical probability before we do it actually in, in, in vivo or in vitro. There are many different techniques that uh, are used in the stimulation of peptide. 
of peptide assembly. Example, local dynamic uh, ART. And here is an example of, uh, of uh, a peptide that how, how by using, by using um, local dynamic, how this is self assembled. Okay. Okay. By using computational uh, by, by using computer modeling or or by knowing the three, the three D structure of the target, we would save a lot of cost and time of doing so in vitro. So small peptide here is an example uh, of testing these molecules on uh, SARS CoV two, and we found it that uh, functionalized B doped graphene can inhibit uh, uh, S or, or a spike protein on SARS-CoV-2 and proteinase. So we can save a lot of time and cost uh, doing on modeling these components other than in doing it in vivo or in vitro. Okay, in conclusion, Peptides, uh, peptides as multivalent nanomaterials can be used as a new avenues for the treatment of current COVID-19 and upcoming pandemics. We need to identify vaccine faster to save more lives and avoid frequent, frequently occurring virus mutation, which can be accomplished by identifying a proof self-assembled test a drug. For example, antiviral peptides like a micro -brown M1 peptide can inhibit the activity of both on the H5N1 and SARS-CoV-2, uh, sorry, and SARS-CoV-2. Six, Cialis lactose uh, bully, um, uh, bully amide amines act anti-H1N1 virus and anti-influenza dr drug. The type based approach can be accelerated our response to future biodynamic by providing platform of, of nanomaterials that can be easily modified for each new and upcoming virus and all virus mutations. And here is my reference. And thank you so much. And if anyone has any questions.